Colleges and universities for the longest time have, been, uh, have seen themselves as separate, but now what we have is a much more integrated system. And we're looking at it as what are the pathways that our students need to get them to success. So we want students to be able to think about their learning in terms of it being a lifelong venture. Not everyone can come to a campus full time, all the time and there, are, there shouldn't be barriers in place to people learning in the way that they need to learn. One of the things that's really interesting with online learning is the opportunity to, to, to bring learning to other areas. So not necessarily sit down for three hours and have that regular class and just come back seven days later, but actually have a learning experience that goes beyond that. And I think online learning really offers that. eCampus Ontario is a relatively new organization but has done a remarkable job in just its uh, short several year existence. It's been a catalyst for the development of new online courses and online modules in Ontario's colleges and universities. Well, I believe that the biggest impact for students uh, with the arrival of eCampus Ontario is going to be access to thousands of online courses and services and resources through one portal uh, that is backed by the strength of all of Ontario's publicly funded universities and colleges working together. You know, in Ontario we are so proud that uh, we have uh, a large number and a large variety of uh, high quality online learning uh, programs and the courses. Uh, for instance, we have 13,000 online courses, 600 online programs and uh, our 44 uh, universities and colleges, they're collaborating very well with each other in order to provide more online and high quality online courses. So having a single portal that represents both the universities and colleges makes life not only easier for the students, it makes it better for the students. Am I good? We have to get away from this idea of our students being college students or university students. They're lifelong learners, they come into the system at whatever point makes sense for them and, uh, and we want to give them the best pathway through that system and that we want them to come back. We can really just build these communities between myself and my students, um, helping students build communities with each other, help to facilitate some of those interactions if students are at a distance. And even as I think about what I want for, for, for the students and, and building those courses, uh, I am not a single person doing this. I mean, with, with, with the funding, for example, that we have, we bring in, uh, we have a team of instructional designers, web programmers, um, graphic artists, all these people who come together to, to really make something special. Um, and in all of the process when we're building things, we have, we have students involved giving feedback, um, interacting along the way, testing things out. So that's really, we're really working with the student at the, at the, at the center. In everything that we do with respect to online learning, the focus is quality. It's on quality learning experiences for our students. So um, today is an opportunity for our instructional designers and our course developers at all of our member institutions to come together and talk about how they are ensuring that the experience is of a high quality. But secondly, it allows that conversation to happen. It's, it provides a kind of a playground for people to go, oh, what are you doing? What, am, what was she doing? And then, oh, let me take your card and let me get this uh, little bit of innovation and that just grows that online enthusiasm, it grows the knowledge base and it develops that network so, so that faculty can start working together, innovating together and supporting one another. When I see the activity is here and see the, the great work that eCampus is doing that is uh, so amplified by the types of courses and ideas that people are sharing and really what is wonderful is that you know at the end of it is that students are being supported and served better. So when I saw some of the examples, you just could imagine the students at the other end of the technology benefiting so much not only for their careers, but just the general learning that has been provided. We have been uh, able through the uh, grants given by the government to subsidize the development of many, many new online courses and modules of extremely high quality. And today's an opportunity 
for all of the partners and uh, all of the creators to get together and showcase what they've done and learn from one another as well as I think uh, show the world uh, how wonderful uh, the developments have been. When you have 45 institutions working together it's absolutely unheard of and so you can imagine when you get faculty together uh, they talk about what they're doing in the various universities. Heretofore, they were working it in isolation, in their classrooms oftentimes, in their universities, in their colleges, and not talking. But this provides a forum for that discussion, for that excitement, for that innovation. And then you add in the government, who has been, I must say, exceptional in this area. When you provide $75,000 per course, you know that that is going to provide you an outstanding opportunity to develop highly interactive, deep curriculum, uh, flipped classrooms, every kind of simulation you could possibly imagine. And so when you gather all of that together with the funding, that is a beautiful marriage.